Quick question of the day. If you had to draft one quarterback that is not named Aaron Rodgers for the rest of the season, who would it be? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I, oh, I'm, what is going on? Hand, <laughs> Jason's hands are in the my, air. When my hands go in the air like, like this, he, it means he's look, already in defensive position. I, I think he's picking somebody who matches his shirt. What? Am I, I wrong? I don't, uh, you, you, you are wrong. So here's. I'm just throwing this out there. This is not my pick. Cam Newton. But I no, oh. I'm not going Cam Newton. This is not my pick, but I don't think it's a crazy pick. And I, I truly believe he could be one of the best quarterbacks from here on out. Oh, uh, no. My pick would be just so I can, you know, I, yeah. save face. My pick would be luck. Because I truly believe from here on out that's the guy I would I would want to have. However, I believe Andy Dalton from here on out is a very <laughs> good quarterback. <laughs> we talked about it before, but I mean, a couple years ago, he finished as the number three. Oh, letting, just letting this one ride, huh? He finished as the number three quarterback a couple years ago. Now he has a healthy A.J. Green. He's got a Tyler Eifert. He's got... <laughs> all right. All, you're getting all the drops, man. I, I can't speak, so I have to hit the buttons. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, he... It, there is you, no <laughs> statistical argument I can make against it right, uh, right now. Yeah, he's, he, the number, he's the number two quarterback right now because on the season. Uh, I would take Tom Brady. Uh, yeah. Rest of season, I would take Tom Brady, coming off a bye. Uh, I don't, I don't mind Andrew Luck, but the injury thing concerns me a little bit, and the team just doesn't seem to be able to. You know, Jason, you you said this in the beginning before we drafted, and obviously we like Andrew Luck. We think he'll be, you know, I, I think even with me saying Brady, it's like ah, oh, Luck will be three or something. But you said this in the beginning. We saw it with Matt Stafford about four years ago. Uh, when a player has a top fantasy season one time, there's always the potential for regression. There's always the potential the touchdown numbers aren't always there. He's been turning the ball over a lot. Yeah, the assumption was that his that last year was his new coming baseline. out party and his yeah. new baseline. But the truth is that could have just been. I mean, we know we knew last year we talked about a lot with Andrew Luck how many of his goal line passing touchdowns there like to the running back position speaking of which Ahmad Bradshaw uh is it's worth noting that he ha is going to Indianapolis for a work, work. he's just working out I, nothing he's just is, going to an LA fitness there and getting his <laughs> right his workout on <laughs> you got to get your money's worth those LA fitness membership fees are outrageous <laughs> they are uh, uh but but the point is but if you'd like to sponsor the show <laughs> no <laughs> uh, you know he had a lot of touchdowns that were through the air that weren't really I mean you know it's like if if that doesn't happen over and over and it doesn't look like it's happening this year then he would go back to being a really good quarterback not what he was last year so Mike what's your answer Tom Brady regrettably okay. I'm not okay. a I've spoken I'm not a huge fan I of know. fantasy for Tom Brady but he they've they kicked it up a gear this again back to the the up yours we're gonna run <laughs> up the score so <laughs> as long as they continue to do that, you you got to go with Tom Brady.